This is 23-year-old Ibrahim Nyongesa, a resident of Pumwani on the outskirts of the Kenyan capital. He earns about $50 a month making and selling coconut confections. Four years ago, Nyongesa became radicalized after listening to sermons from some of the mosques in Pumwani. But he stopped short of joining Al Shabab. He says after hearing what he calls correct teachings from the Riyadh Majengo Mosque. I changed from being radicalized after listening to sermons and teaching of the sheikhs at the mosque, and I came to discover that in Islam one is not allowed to shed innocent blood. Pumwani has a population of about 30,000 people. Unemployment here is high, with most youth doing odd jobs to earn a living. Critics of the mosque say it has become a focal point for young men who think militancy is the answer to Kenya's problems. Years ago, police raided the area and arrested youths who said they were part of the mosque. Two weeks ago, a member of the mosque who works for the country's parliament was arrested on allegations that he has links to Al-Shabaab. Three years ago, Idris Nabobo joined the mosque as its imam. He says the allegations that the mosque funds and encourages terror activities are unfounded. Nabobo says the mosque works to de-radicalize the youth around Majengo. When we encounter a Muslim so radicalized, meaning his views are against the teachings of the Prophet and the Quran, we explain the truth in detail until they change their heart and stance. Once they know the truth, it's then up to them. Forcing them to be moderate is another thing altogether. We cannot force them. Ours is to show them the way and tell them that their radicalized stand is wrong. Ben Jindolo from the Organization of National Empowerment, a group that advocates for policy change and good governance, says the problem of radicalization could be addressed by the government through inclusion. It's got to do more in terms of programs, in terms of affirmative action, in terms of proactive you know, measures to bring the youth in to mainstream um, nation building, whether it's tenders, whether it's projects, whether it's, you know, different undertakings to create opportunity for them to earn something and get them off the sidelines. Kenyans are concerned about Islamic militancy in the wake of deadly attacks claimed by Al-Shabaab. Last month, Al-Shabaab gunmen killed 148 people at a university in the town of Garissa. The group said the attack was in retaliation for Kenya's military involvement in Somalia. Lenny Ruvaga for VOA News, Nairobi, Kenya.